guys, it's me, Gloria. Happy New Year. How we all doing? Okay, guys, I'm coming to you with my last project for the Scrappy Mom stamp set that came out in December. I'm kind of sorry it's kind of been uploaded a little late, but um, the holidays came and kind of, I wasn't expecting to do too much, but I did more than what I was planned to do, so I really didn't have no time to do it, but I'm doing it now, and um, want to show you what I'm doing. Now, today I'm using the Cartridge Suburbia, and I'm also using a file from svgcuts.com. Uh, the file name is Happy Holidays, and I got this file last month for free. And this file consists of five different bags. And it consists of a Santa Claus bag, a regular medium bag, a large bag, a gingerbread bread house, and a snowman bag. And I thought it was so, so cute. And you don't have to use all of these bags for Christmas. It's all holidays. Anything. A birthday, Valentine's. So today, I am making a Valentine's large bag. And the stamp set that I'm using is the Subway Sentiment Sweets. And it is this one right here. And if you can see, this one, it says Sweetie Pie, XOXOXOXOXO, Valentine's Day, True Love, I Love You, Be Mine with All My Heart, Cupid's Arrow, and Smooches. So that's the stamp that I'm going to use for my project. And I'm going to use, actually, three cuts out of the Suburbia. So I'm going to use this lady right here. This lady right here, and I cut this all out at 5.75. Then, I end up using this gentleman right here sitting on the couch. And then, I used one more cut, and I thought this cut was really cute out of this uh, cartridge. And I end up using this couple right here. So... So I used the cartridge and I also used my silhouette. And this is the pattern paper that I use. And this is a double-sided pattern paper, which is really beautiful. And this paper is from TPC Studios. Okay, guys, so let's get started. I cut all of my images out. And um, I got them right here. But what I want to do, let me move all my images over here. So, here goes all my cuts, and this is for the bag, and it consists of four different pieces, and this is ribbon that I'm using right here is going to be the straps for my bag. So, let me put that on the side. These are to reinforce your bag. This is the inside and the bottom. Then you have the layer to go on the outsides of the bag. Then these two cuts right here are the sides of the bag. And then this is the front. And this is the back of the bag. So let's get started. Before I started putting my bag together, I want to actually use this uh, glitter paper right here to cut out a, a border. And I'm using my vintage lace, heart lace punch. And this is a, a deep edge punch. But I want to use that because I want to make a frame for my sentiment. So, I want to cut this piece of glitter at 5 by 6. So, I think this is already at 6. Yep. So, I just want to cut this at 5. And um, I'm going to use my Martha Stewart punch, but what's so awkward is that the size that I'm using is a really awkward size. So you would punch your uh, paper wrong if you don't do it in a way to kind of not over punch or mess up your design. So I'm going to do all my four corners. And this paper punch is so gorgeous. And it's like perfect for uh, this project that I'm doing. And for Valentine's, of course. And you know, whatever you got left, you get hearts left over. 
And if you like to do little dots and spots, you can save that too. But that's just a little bit too much for me, these little tiny pieces. But I will save the hearts. Because hearts always come in handy around the holidays. Especially Valentine's. So now I'm going to use this deep edge. And I'm going to start on one side. And I'm going to kind of line it up perfect. And then press on it. And you see? So you won't be able to do it on this side because then you'll cut off this edge. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to add my punch in there and I'm going to try to line it up as best as I can. And I might be a little bit off. See, because if you guys can see, I'm going to be off. So, what I want to do is leave the heart alone, and I'm going to be off over here in the corner. So, I might get two dots. So, but that's going to be just fine. Then I'm going to punch it through, and there you go. Now, you see what I'm saying? You're going to get two circles. But that, you, you can... You know, unless I told you, you would probably notice it. Okay, so let's do the same within the sides. Now line it up to the best you can and then punch down. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it this way. Yeah. Okay, and that came out perfect. And then I'm going to do the same with this side. Kind of line it up on the silver. And then punch. And then we're going to just turn it around and do the same like we did on the other side. Now this side ain't going to be like the other side, which is kind of weird. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. Kind of line it up to the best as you can. And punch. And there you go. You see? You don't have a double hole on this side. And then let's do the last round. Okay. And then this side is... Okay, so there goes my frame. You see how beautiful that frame is? So, I'm going to move all of this to the corner. And I'll worry about taking the hearts out later. Okay. And there goes my frame for my Scrappy Mom stamps. Now, the sentiment that I'm using, I already stamped it. And I use my Memento Rosebud. And oh my god, this is such a beautiful color. I usually get stuck on black, but sometimes I like to use a color, and this is amazing. I just love it. And look at how perfect it's stamped. Perfect stamp with that Scrappy Mom stamps is gorgeous. And then what I did, I end up using my corner rounder, and I rounded off all the edges, and now I'm going to just mat this on this pink piece of paper, and then I'm going to kind of center it. But I might want to pop it up to kind of give it a little bit more dimension too. So let's do that. Now guys, with this video here, I'm showing you step by step how I am creating this. And um, it might be a two-part video, maybe three-part, all depending. Because I'm showing how to make the bag, how to decorate the bag, all of it. The whole nine yards, guys. And it was so amazing that, um, that uh, SVG cuts end up giving everyone that for free for Christmas. And it was only for last month. So, and I didn't know about it till like 
really late, but I got lucky because I just got it at the end and I thought it was adorable. And you know, to make your own bags, especially, you know. So I want to adhere this to my pink layer. And I want to kind of center it. Not right there. Just like that. And now I want to pop it up on this. So guys, what would you like me to do for this year coming up? Now, I do not know how to do everything. I'm going to tell you guys right now. So there's going to probably be some things that you're going to want me to show you. And I won't do it because I don't know how. <laughs> Which is funny because... I challenge myself, and I challenge myself a lot on different things. I mean, in life, or in my crafts, you know, in, of course, my marriage, you know. But, um, but there's just some things that I'm like, you know, you're going to be your worst critic. And me, to be honest with you, if I personally don't like it, I hate to kind of tell you I'm going to do something and it ain't going to work. Now, don't that look amazing? Okay. Now, I got it all down. And I should have put that on the bottom. But that's all right. Because, you see, this is such a beautiful frame uh, frame that's going to go on the bag. You ain't even going to notice the double holes. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the side, guys. Now, what I did, I already cut out my images. And here goes my first couple that's going to go on. And I used the shadow. Then I cut this at five and a half. And I used the shadow and then the two layers. And then here goes the lady. And here goes the gentleman. Now, with this idea that I had in mind, I saw the guy sitting down, right? And uh, I saw this lady standing up with her hand on the side. And I thought it was like perfect, as you can see, like this, to go on the back, which is your husband and you beside. And then I end up using my silhouette, and I end up using the font... Um, oh my god, where did I put it at? Oh, I think it's, ca it's called Alora. It's A-L-L-U-R-A. And this is a free font. And I cut this out and I made, this is the font right here. So I made a shadow for it. Then I made a shadow for the two layers. So this is what it came out. And this is what's going to go on the bag also. Besides either this design or this one I'm not sure so let's put this on the side and let's start gluing our bag now for the bag it's really simple it's just to glue four pieces plus the bottom together that's it and it is amazing Just give me a second, guys, and I'll be right back. I forgot something. <laughs> 